Where? In the clouds, right there. Okay, you see the bow? Oh, I see it. You I see it? it? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, how this goes to you. It's so good. That was such easy bands, you was nothing else. Safe will you be when you point with your trembling hand. Good morning. Today is Saturday, July 10th. Uh, hello there. We are currently 300 miles away from destination, which means that in 48 hours we should be in Horta if all goes well. Since yesterday we are going upwind in northerly winds and in just a few minutes I will be taking the final turn. I think that in the next 48 hours the big challenge is going to be life on board as we are sailing upwind again and yeah ending this passage the same way that we started it at a 60 degree angle to the wind all right guys i will uh, take the opportunity of our final turn to let you in on a secret uh, this is us uh, this this track here this is where we're going and this is this is where we're supposed to go, the Azores. So as you can see, we need to turn. So I will uh, take the opportunity of this turn uh, to the Azores to show you how we steer the boat when we're sailing. It's very complicated maneuver. Bam! Nailed it! What a turn! I know. Alright guys, that's it. Final stretch to the Azores. 300 nautical miles on the ROM line. How is that truck that Red Ryan? It's really good. I don't know why you think this is so weird. It's really good. And um, and how is the the sweet potato turmeric soup? It's really good. Yeah. And the combination is great. Don't knock it until you try it. That looks amazing. I'm uh, I'm glad you like my chocolate bread so much. So Ryan, tell me, what do you want to eat when we get there? I think this is an important topic. So typically, I love pizza. It's my favorite food group. Anyways, but uh, oddly enough, I am not really feeling pizza right now. I would much prefer a burger, a really, really juicy burger and fries. I'm torn. I think I want some sort of like seafood, some local stuff. What do you think? I mean, for my part, anything that I do not cook. Uh, I am very tired of it. Know how this goes to you ask her the name of her man. Said with such ease it burns you as nothing else. Safe will you be when you point with your trembling hand. The truth that you found too late and you can't understand. Should go. 
every morning between 4.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. Our weather router, Charlie, sends us the new forecast and sailing recommendations for the day. And every morning I feel like Charlie's angel. I want to say, hi Charlie. All right, let's see what he says. Uh, <laughs> it starts well. Sounds like conditions far more unstable than I see on my screens. The high is slowly advancing over your position, so conditions for the next 24 hours are going to be similar in strength and direction. I.e. it's gonna be sh**. He says I.e. pretty variable. It's happening. Land ho! But it's not the place we're going to. You should come up. So cool. Land ho! You can kind of just make it out in the. And now back to civilization in three, two, one. Oh, there we go! Yes! Yes! Sophie, what are you most excited to do when we go to shore? Um, I am so excited to get drunk. I don't, I don't consume a lot of alcohol, but I think that these occasions call for it. What are you excited to do? I'm, I want to dance. Yeah, that's. I want to dance. With some, uh, no, just dance. <laughs> okay, Ryan, what are you excited to do? I want to go for a run. I am excited to do that. I want to move I mean, my body. Ryan, we have talked about this. You had all the opportunities in the world to go take a drug on the four day. And you know what? I did that many, many days. Okay, actually, it's true you did. <laughs> what about the two so, AM yoga? All right, so right now I am creating a waypoint uh, right outside of Porta Harbor. And uh, we're going to be following the route to that waypoint tonight. Uh, so that we keep the angle straight. Tonight we are in racing mode. We are going as fast as possible towards Horta. Let's put that waypoint together. Uh, waypoint at cursor. There we are. Do you want to see my waypoint, Annette? Okie dokie. It's just outside the harbor there. <laughs> oh my god. A curator or what? Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's great. I think I'll be able to shoot for that quite easily. I mean, uh, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> How funny that you could actually do that in this sharp water, though. The chart. Oh, it's probably like mark, mark your favorite cafe. Good evening and welcome to where I will be sleeping tonight. Um, as you can hear, this is a very relaxing environment. Peace and quiet, that's what you like. This is our last night on board for this passage and uh, I'm actually a little bit sad. I was uh, making my way to the cockpit a little earlier tonight, grabbing my life jacket and putting it on. Um, attaching the crotch strap and you know just all in all realizing how much in the last two weeks we've made one with the boat you know one with its motion with the sails with 
the routine and, and the habits that we've developed and uh, it's been two weeks in a little bubble out of time it has to come to an end eventually but I'm a little sad about piercing the bubble and moving on to other things this was a fun time and we'll have more adventures and more crossing but in the meantime I'll have to find a way to get some sleep until tomorrow because I would like to be the least destroyed possible when I finally get to party. Um, so, night night. See you tomorrow. Well, there was indeed not a lot of sleep. done a very bad job of filming myself on this passage. I will hope to make up with this vlog entry. It is the last day of our passage. I am excited and it's very interesting to compare my feelings now to the first one. And I think it's quite interesting because the first passage I really identified a lot of anxieties that I had in sailing. And this one, uh, I knew them more and was able to like pinpoint them and kind of act and behave and get ahead of them differently. Shut up! Where? In the clouds. Right there. Okay. You see the bow? Yeah. <gasps> when we started out, everyone said that this passage was the hard passage, the heavy weather passage across the Atlantic. So. I had a lot of nerves about it. It was a bit of a challenge because the wind's always shifting and you need to pay attention to your forecast or you get yourself in a bit of a pickle. It all worked out in the end and it's been pretty great. We're about 30, 40 miles from Porta. 1 p.m. Okay? Okay. Let me see. Oh, I see it. So the boat's in really good shape. I'm always hesitant to say anything because I'm superstitious and I'm afraid I'll jinx it. But she's held up very, very well for 3,000 miles and bashing in the waves. We have a few leaks in some of the hatches that we need to fix. We need to get a new Iridium Go uh, because that failed. And other than that, like, she's really good. And for me, it's a testament to all the hours and effort that you spend fixing systems and checking systems and so that when you're on passage, stuff doesn't break. You see it? It's so low! Yeah! <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with this trip. I'm happy with the crew that we have and uh, happy with how Sophie and I managed to sail this boat. I think it's it's really awesome and there's there's no other people I'd rather be doing it with. It, it was really, really good. We have to lift the spray hood. Why do I feel like I'm getting pumped here? Yeah. You're getting wet? <laughs> Last thing I learned on this trip was we have a very awesome community of people who for some reason think it's so awesome to, to follow our adventure and I, I think that's great. Uh, but when we lost our Iridium Go, we had a number of messages on Messenger and email and an Instagram of people who were genuinely concerned about us. And we knew that that would be an issue when the Iridium Go went down, but it was it's kind of nice when you come to show, shore and know that there's so many people out there watching after you and that care. 
Uh, and I just think that's a testament to the, the really remarkable people we have in our little community. And so for that, I want to say thank you because that was super awesome, guys. Look at this view, it's so epic. I have been at the helm since uh, 4 a.m. this morning. I am uh, committed to a strong finish. So as per the tradition requires, uh, it is now time to hoist the courtesy flag of the country that we are visiting. Uh, and before we hoist this one, we have a little bit of a story to tell. It is so that before and it came to join us on the boat, I uh, asked her to transport with her a few goods that I ordered from Amazon and I thought that it would be appropriate to order a courtesy flag for the Azores. Okay, so for reference, this is the size of a courtesy flag. The flag came, we received it when the net arrived and uh, to my surprise, this is what came. <laughs> it seems that I have indeed uh, grossly uh, misrepresented the proportions of uh, that flag, but it will be as big as the sense of accomplishment that we feel as we are making landfall after this 15 days crossing from Bermuda and almost 25 total from Bonaire. Oh yeah! He flies proud! It doesn't look too big from here! Is this arrival, Annette? Very cool. Oh, this is so beautiful! It's like being in another world! Isn't that a bit surreal? Excited. This is it's crazy. It's so cool. Tell me you're the enemy, but all I see is a smile. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> we made it! Like when the sky lit up each time we touch. Yeah! <laughs> well, we are back in Europe. Woo! All these nights because we lost and on our way. Walk with me in a new direction. I think, so here is the thing, because uh, for some, oh, gosh, I'm drunk already. Oh my God. Okay, starting over. Oh man, look at, oh. 
Oh, traitor. Oh, Sophie, I am so excited about this food order. Uh, we are in quarantine for 36 hours. <laughs> Thanks God, there was a bottle of rum. There was a bottle of rum swizzle in the bar. Hell yeah. Uh, and uh, we were just delivered an amazing dinner and we asked the guys to <laughs> buy us some wine and beer from the store and they delivered it in ice. Oh, sorry, Ryan, I got excited. Quarantine Deluxe. Seriously, that's exactly what it is. That is Quarantine Deluxe. Thank you.